So what if I told you guys that every single episode you guys have seen until now was not in real time? Like, they weren't in real time. Yeah, every single episode you guys have seen have been like throwbacks, flashbacks, um, all that type of stuff. Episode 5, these are the real vlogs. See, I gotta explain to you guys what I've been up to in real time, I guess now that uh, I'm starting to shoot this episode. I'm hoping I got shit in my face. I was just eating some peanut butter cookies. Anyway, I have been super busy these past couple weeks. I just got done shooting a commercial about a week ago, two weeks ago now, probably a week ago. Um, commercial for WeHop. Um, by the time you guys see this, the WeHop commercial should be up. So hit the link up here, or if the thing pops up here, the link's down here, check it out. Also got a behind the scenes video explaining how the whole production went check that out too it has been a pretty hectic couple weeks but it has been a lot more progressive than it ever has been for me in a little while been busy doing so much different stuff planning a whole bunch of different stuff uh, planning to announce SW films publicly um, and all that type of stuff and uh, just finishing up a lot of product projects in post-production and just trying to get them uh, done as quick as possible. So I have been doing a lot of stuff, uh, but I haven't really been filming a whole lot of uh, vlog episodes just because I've been super busy working on the shit that gets me paid. You know, um, what else has happened to me? Oh, I got glasses. Um, this is the first time you guys have seen me with glasses in the vlog. I got these glasses, I think, like, uh, probably about last month sometime. They've helped out a lot. Like. These are Zeiss, Zeiss gla uh, lenses for my glasses, so all my uh, camera people and all that stuff, you guys know how great Zeiss lenses are. This shit is amazing. Um, what else happened? Oh, yeah. I went on a date, too, last week. So, that was fun. Um, that's a developing story. So, when that story is finished, I'll let you guys know. So here we are, we at the Auburn Fair today. We, we got the homie, we got the re returning guy from the vlog. This dude dressed up for a business meeting but ended up at the fair. <laughs> so this is what it is right now, just walking through the fair, seeing if we see anything. Dylan, what you hoping to get at the fair right now? Piece of ass. <laughs> this guy. One of the big things I always see at the fair is hillbillies galore, like, Tons of fucking hillbillies and elephant ears, of course. I'm like the only black person at this entire fair right now. <laughs> like, there ain't a fucking person with my same skin complexion around here. Oh, well, actually, hold up. There's a brother. You gotta be. You got the fucking high top fade. <laughs> gotta be one. But <laughs> this is one part of the fair. It's literally in a road. Like, different stuff. Dylan, what do you think? Shitter every year. <laughs> we only came here for some for some uh, elephant ears. Like this dude picked me up out of nowhere and we we're just here for elephant ears, but like we're just here walking around now. Might as well, because I know I'm not coming back to this. I want some dual sneakers. <laughs> yeah. Fair food. Shit's amazing. Mm -mm -mm. So those fried Oreos were trash. I'm just kidding, they were all right. Um, Dylan, <laughs> Dylan's still eating his. <laughs> Did you like the fried Oreos, dude? Fucking sucks. <laughs> Way too sweet, man. Like, look at this chocolate shit. It's a little too sweet. But this fair. It's fair. That's all I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair. It's 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 not special. It's it's not good. It's, it's fair. <laughs> so 
So Dylan's about to do this whole bring a bottle for three dollars. Dylan, two dollars. Two dollars. He ain't gonna do it. His accuracy is. He used to be good back in like. I get three balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see. Let's let's see this shit right now. Dylan, you stink, Dylan. This guy fucking missed a whole three. <laughs> you just missed a whole fucking three. It's a walking shame. <laughs> So, probably gonna go to Fort Wayne. Um, I was supposed to go to Fort Wayne to see my friend, Miss Esther Bell. So this is my friend Esther. Hey. Am I supposed to say something? Yeah. Oh, hey! That's all I have. <laughs> Boom! But, she went back to Chicago. So, I was gonna go up there uh, to get some food. It's a big waste of gas and money, but I'm not too worried. Your boy getting getting these bucks out here. You getting bucks out here. Look at this damn thing, man. All that corn's about to be gone. Change the shirt. Uh, I'm about to go to Fort Wayne, get some food, hang out with Dylan and Justin. Go work out with them. I got all my work done today at the library because the library got good Wi Fi. My house, garbage ass Wi Fi. And mom, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, but you know it's true. I cannot work at that damn house. I got an office at the house, but no Wi Fi. <laughs> Excuse my language, but um, yeah, so we're going to Fort Wayne. Ah. <sighs> The vlog is here. So we got Dragon. We got Dylan at the vlog. Oh, this is the first time anyone's seeing Justin. Hold on. Justin, this is the other guy who works with Cart. If you can see. No, him. I'm not just the other guy. I'm the other guy. <laughs> so we're about to go get a workout in and uh schwerk night tonight. Hey, uh, I Look at these birds, man. These turkeys. It's like they're it's like they're trying to meet up and do a deal with me or some shit. They're about to go into the cornfield though. They're too scared. What's up, fellas? What's good? Oh man, yeah. so we Here just got go. done. Go. Look, they don't I, hey, they don't understand the vlog. Oh man. See, hey, hey, Look. real talk. Survey right here, bloggers. Survey right here. Uh, dark skins or light skins? Fuck, hey, 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 look at hey, him. Dylan, He's Dylan, stupid. Dylan, don't even. Dylan, don't dark skin or light skins? Dark skins or light skins? No, vote. Okay, me. cast your vote. If you vote light skins, uh, you'll get free cart merch. Look at this man, look look at this motherfucker. All right. Look. Shout out to my Snapchatters. Shout out to all my vloggers. Oh, dude, you can't see us profane. <laughs> We're in red mango. That post workout. Hey, post yo, workout. dude, sign your thing. Oh, all right. Get on your vlog, dog. Uh, this is what three entrepreneurs do. We get smoothies together. <laughs> Did you get my phone, dude? There you go. I'm back <laughs> moments. <laughs> this is great. Hey, give me over here. <laughs> hey, you know, we got that um, citrus mango greens. Spinach. What you got? Basic white. I got stuff. the blueberry <laughs> burner, which is pineapple juice, blueberry, berries. I got banana peanut butter protein. This shit is. Woo. <sighs> All right, let me adjust this focus real fast. Could be right, could be wrong. I really can't tell from here. I think it's in focus though. All right, well, today is Tuesday, the 17th of October. Um, right now, man, I'm kind of just doing some editing um, and stuff. Um, there's not really much on the plate today besides doing a little bit of editing. I got to reach out to a couple people, um, and I'm shooting a promo for CART, uh, Justin and Dylan, the people who you saw just a minute ago. Um, and also, uh, today's Justin's birthday today, so I don't know what if we're going to be doing anything special for him, but it uh, should be fun. So, really just a bunch of editing and a bunch of shooting. So, normal day to day. Nothing too special. Here we are in Fort Wayne, getting ready to go shoot another cart promo. 
Got the man Dylan Belcher. We're about to su- not up? surprise. We ain't about to surprise Justin for his birthday. We about to yeah. We're gonna surprise him or something. We're gonna like yell at him or some shit. <laughs> Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! you. Oh, Happy birthday! Why are you watching Big Mouth? <laughs> what the fuck? Why not? It's funny. <laughs> Happy birthday! Happy birthday, bro! You got a dap up for the vlog. Oh, happy birthday! Hey, two two, baby, two two. Two two, two, two baby. Twenty two nuts 22. to bust. <laughs> now say there has been a lot of excitement okay, about the cool. IKEA store and Fisher's Indiana. We know there's some uh, some of you who love their products, but lack <laughs> yeah. of time and budget to handle shipping. Yeah. They're getting everything ready for uh, the cart front. And then, and then, uh, you know, it should be. I'm just here to film. We'll be delivering your and edit. items from IKEA so. right to your door. I'm doing everything I can That's right, right now. Cartoon is tough. I'm gonna have to bleep out all these customers. Oh, I know. Why no, use, like, use like a, a use like funny noises like like I don't know like a, like a duck squeak like squeaking or something. <laughs> so when I was like, <laughs> you'd be like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. This is a great spot, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Seems to never disappoint. Is that right, Dylan? He's only saying this because he works for her. Yeah. If I can pay my bills, I'm good. I'm coming over. Found a message in my body. Your son is coming up. By the bill. Fuck you. I can use the register. I've seen it in Indiana. We know there's tons of products that you love. I can't buy the budget and find a handle shipping call. Well, you're in luck because for two days only, we'll be heading down to Ikea. Yeah, we don't want to buy the bill, buy the bill, buy the bill. When y'all are saying you ain't nothing but a baby, your feel is growing up. I think I do this shit for real, dawg. Hey, I ain't no motherfucking me, but I'm for motherfucking real, dawg. All right, then you're gonna see us on two angles now, okay? You want to do the same zip up the same? Is it about the same? <laughs> the same thing. Okay, okay, right? Look, uniform. <laughs> Ready? Yep. yep. And you're rolling? Rolling. Hey, what's up, guys? After 80 takes, we finally did it. Nah, Dylan Belcher. No, nah, it was not 80 takes. <laughs> hey, first it was not 80 takes. This is the first time hey, I got in the car. This video. dude, this is like This is the first time he's been in the hey, video. Just, hey, just the had the first man. promo video, so this is first my first time. Video. You know, right. wrote the script and then he acted. Oh, cool, now, Dylan, shit, we're going to have to have one where you do it by yourself. Oh, yeah, I'm about it. <laughs> so happy 22nd birthday, birthday Justin Davis. And then much appreciation to Stefan Wicker for shooting this commercial. Huzzah! <laughs> Look at that. That shit is dope. I'm waiting for a spider to just pop out right now. Tricky this thing. Called love Just enough will leave you tipsy You'll fall if you have too much We shouldn't go any further We shouldn't live it alone and alone But leave me uncertain Some lessons ain't worth learning I hope that you never know what I know we need to let it go But if you don't wanna leave I'ma give you what you think you need Cause that's what I'm here for We can begin with the chase Moving along at a steady pace But you better remember There is a limit So today, um, it's Thursday, October like 19th Or something like that And um, <clears throat> there's like a little party I'm going with with Dylan and Justin today uh, a place called Atrium in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Basically, it's kind of like a nice little hub where a lot of local startups, local entrepreneurs in Fort Wayne and all across Indiana or Midwest, I guess, meet up. Um, and they're turning one year old today. And I'm going out there um, representing, of course, the home team, SW Films. Um, basically, I want to go there and just network and try to get with more people so I can actually get uh, you know, hand out business cards and flyers and and meet other entrepreneurs who might need video content. And I'm sure a lot of them need video content if they don't have it already. Um, I'll be surprised if I uh, meet any other, like, I guess, filmmakers or videographers or whatever. So um, I'm excited about that. Uh, I'm just waiting on Dylan to get here. Um, Ryan down there with him. 
meeting up with Justin. We're going to go out there, represent ourselves, have a good time. Um, should be pretty fun. Start for a little bit over two and a half years, uh, and I don't think at any time during those two and a half years I've ever thought, you know, I know exactly what I'm doing. Steve, Steve, thanks, <laughs> guys. Guys, we had a great time at the atrium party. Get on my face. Look, <laughs> look, man, these guys are the homies. Regardless, we oh. out here doing big things, yeah. man. We're trying to do things. Yeah. It's the, <laughs> hold on, what? Yeah, let's, let's get some shots down here, bro. We had a good time. It's dark as hell, but we did it. Get we a flash on. Let's find a picture of Justin. So, uh, what can I say? It's been a very plentiful couple of weeks, couple of days, couple of months. Can't say a couple of years just yet. Can't say a couple of years just yet. It has been plentiful, but right now in the current state that I'm in, plentiful months, days. There's a lot of explaining that I have to do as far as what I do on the daily and uh, what I do with my film, what I do with my business, what I do with my uh, work each day. I feel like that's something that I have to cover pretty soon. Um, definitely want to go through and kind of go over a lot of the stuff that I actually work on uh, just because it's super important first off. But I mean, I don't know, it's, it's really all I do, man. I don't really do anything else. Those other vlogs, you know, with the Colorado trip and um, and the Fora concert, like those were, you know, some free time, I guess, the times where I didn't really have a whole lot of stuff really happening at the moment. More towards the Fora concert, I had a lot of stuff going on. Specifically, earlier on, I was, those were just free time, basically. Now I've been busy, and I'm trying to get more busy, I'm trying to, connect with a lot more local businesses for work as far as uh, providing video content, marketing and stuff for them. I'm still building up everything within my company and it's taken a while, uh, but man, it, it really it really is super important. I guess the word of the day, because I haven't done a word of the day since episode three, the word of the day today is responsibility. Responsibility. For me, <clears throat> I have a lot of responsibilities to take care of daily. Uh, for instance, I am just a I am just a freelance filmmaker at this point. I don't don't really have an LLC or any kind of like uh, specific structure to my business or my company just yet because I'm trying to build it up right now. I'm trying to build up more clientele. I'm trying to build up, uh, of course, build up skill all the time, build up skill, learn new things, but mainly I'm freelance. I, I, that's my big thing. My responsibility each day is to get up, um, be responsible for whatever I'm working on, edit something, uh, learn something new, um, and just continue to progress as a filmmaker, film director, as a writer, as a person, and uh, progress as an entrepreneur, as a businessman, as a young black businessman. I'm responsible for those kind of things. If we're talking about responsibility as a person, as my personal responsibilities, you know, I would say I've kind of been lacking a little bit. Try to work out every single day. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I've slacked a little bit on that. Um, I just got done doing the workout now. I just got done doing the HIIT training. If you guys know that HIIT training, that shit was tough, man. 
Uh, I'm still tired from that. Responsibility on eating food. Well, I mean, I, I don't really have the best. I don't eat the the best food. Uh, a lot of my friends who are probably watching this is probably agreeing with me. Foods, I guess I just don't eat a lot. I don't really have that natural breakfast, lunch, and dinner kind of thing. I don't really uh, do that. I, I really don't eat breakfast a lot. I've started to do more like fruit in the morning and stuff like that. Um, and, like kind of small doses of stuff every now and then. Always usually skip lunch. Uh, it kind of just passes my mind. I'm usually too busy working or I'm just not even thinking about it. And that leads into another responsibility is finances. A lot of my money right now will go to the stuff that makes me, that, that I need to survive. Food, hyg hygienial kind of things, you know. I need all of that. Really I spend money on a lot of stuff for the business. This was the last piece of equipment that I bought. This is a lens, my favorite lens to use. <clears throat> I bought this lens early last year and I haven't really bought any new pieces of equipment. I mean, I, the drone is something, but uh, that was more like, kind of like a split way. I didn't really pay for it, um, particularly. That was more of a gift. M mental, men mental responsibilities, you know, I, don't, I like to read and stuff, but I, I guess I don't read as much as I should. I have so many books down here that I should read. I'm, I'm gonna go through all that stuff. I'm gonna go through kind of the books that I do like to read or the stuff that I like to read eventually. Um, I definitely need to get more into reading more, but if anything, for the mental responsibilities, it's just learning new things about my career. Uh, not my career, but my, my field. Learn more about the film industry. Um, learn more about, I guess, cultural things. Uh, I'm a huge hip hop person. I'm a huge, you know, that kind of culture and I like to learn more about that. Same with emotional responsibilities, just make sure I'm always in check. Don't be too sensitive, but at the same time be a little sympathetic for certain things or being a little, have a little bit of empathy for certain things. I read this article one time and it was funny that I read this article. It wasn't even an article, it was a video. It, it was pro being productive versus being, what was it? Productive versus being I'm trying to I'm trying to put my fucking finger on it. I think it was produ being productive versus being busy. I think that what it was. I, I could be wrong. Uh, someone, if you guys know what I'm talking about, this specific video. I'm gonna try to find that video and I'm gonna link it in the description box below. This video was it was kind of important because I honestly, it was more in the favor of how being productive is better than being like uh, too busy or busy or that kind of sense. Being productive is like having three tasks a day and you focus on those three tasks a day and you make sure you get those three tasks done each day. You get those three tasks done. Versus being busy where you have, you may have like 10 or 20 different things you gotta do a day and you don't get them done because you're procrastinating on one, on one, on a couple different tasks or you know, you're just so, you're so kind of, I guess, flustered and frustrated about all the different stuff you're doing and you know with all the clutter that you don't really have an opportunity to to get each of that done so in closing responsibility is super important if you have a passion or you're dedicated to something or you have a job that you that you're completely passionate about you need to make sure that you have responsibilities kept up for your job but even just as a human being you should have your responsibilities in check you have you're responsible for the things that you don't get done, or the things that you don't do, or the things that you do do. Uh, you're responsible for those things. So uh, I'm still working on making sure I get all my responsibilities covered, uh, especially more on the personal side. But as far as work stuff, um, I'm trying to catch up with all the responsibilities I got to do and get done. So yeah, word of the day, responsibilities. They're important. Competition. If they even play the competition, then I seen the response they get. Yeah, nobody's even hearing it on top of the pyramid. Might go to Jamaica, disappear again. My circle got so small that it's superior. Saying to myself, y'all better not come to my studio with that fake shit.